Hey, y'all stay tuned. Uh, the weather is getting better. It's 80 degrees a day. It was like 40 yesterday. And we're gonna, it's gonna dry up and we're gonna start tilling gardens and planting gardens. And uh, you know what? We got a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. And I think we all need to have a garden so we can help provide food to ourselves. Welcome back to the channel. We are here at Pears Power Sports in Pears, Tennessee. And that's our hometown, by the way. And today we're gonna show you how to take the backhoe off of this TYM T264. You guys come along for the ride. Tony's Tractor Adventure. All right, the first thing we're gonna to do to take the backhoe off is we're gonna remove this top link. All right, we're gonna loosen up the pressure off this top link so that it, it has some free play there. Pull this pin. Now we're gonna remove the, the other end. I'm gonna remove the top link out. Once you remove that back pin out of the top link, you can, uh, and you get the top link out of the way, you can just uh, slide that pin back in the in its carrier, and that way next time you'll know where it's at as well. When you get that uh, top link out, go ahead and put that pin back in so you don't lose it. Uh, we'll be using this again in just a few minutes. Okay, there's two pins on the backhoe frame, and what we have to do now is start the tractor up and use the backhoe boom to uh, release the pressure off those pins so you can remove them by hand. Okay, now what we gotta do, before we can move the backhoe, it has lock pins or travel pins as they're called. So we're gonna remove the travel pin for the, so the boom can move left and right. And then we'll move the travel pin so that the outriggers can go out. And then we'll move the, the travel lock for the pin so that the boom can go down. That one's already loose. Next we're gonna take out is the travel, the travel pin for the boom where it goes up and down. The up and down travel lock pin is a little bit longer and they have got a place for that. Now we're gonna take the travel lock pins out for the outriggers. On the uh, outriggers, there's two places on the other side that has for the long pins. We'll put one here, and we'll go ahead and take this one out. That way we're not looking for these later on. So what we're gonna do now is take the pressure off of the back hole frame so we can remove those pins. Tell you one thing, the hydraulics are very fast. All right, once we get the uh, back hole, the pressure off of the back hole frame, you see I can move this pin freely. So then all we have to do is pull it around and then pull the little carter pin out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and push the outriggers up, or take the load off, push them actually going down. All right, you see how free that becomes? Let them, you can reach in there, pull out the pin, slide that out the side. Okay. All right, we have the three pins removed to, that holds the backhoe on, uh, the top link, and then the two pins on the frame at the bottom. So now there's basically nothing holding the, the backhoe to the tractor. These hoses that, that run the hydraulics to the tractor, to the backhoe, uh, have some free play in them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out and we may have to adjust the backhoe up and down just a little bit to take pressure off as we pull out. Uh, if we don't, uh, then we can just pull out for a certain distance, get off the tractor, turn it off, and then remove the lines. Let's go do that. All right, if you look down here on the frame, it's the frame of the backhoe is now separated completely from the tractor. Uh, there is no, uh, nothing touching. So now we can disconnect the hydraulic lines. All right, now we're gonna disconnect the hydraulic lines. Make sure you put your cats back on these. Keep the dirt out of these. Uh, it'll, it'll save you a lot of headache in the future. You got caps on both sides. Set those hydraulic lines out of the way so they don't get pinched and cut. All right, now we're just gonna pull straight away from the backhoe. Uh, you can't turn left or right, you gotta come straight out. All right, 
Now we're going to put the three-point hitch stabilizer back in. You have to remove this pin when you are removing the back hole. Put the washer in the hairpin. And then repeat the same thing on the other side. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the top link and install it. And that will be the, actually the last thing we do. And then your three-point hitch is ready to hook up to your implements. And there you go. Okay, well now we're going to put the uh, backhoe back onto the trasher. We have to uh, prep the three-point hitch. We've got to take our top link off. I'm just going to set this off out of the way because we're going to use it in just a few minutes. All right, now we're going to take the hairpins out and we're going to pull this one pin out and drop the the outside three-point hitch supports. We'll do that on both sides and then we'll be ready to back in. All right, now we've got the tractor back by the frame or close enough that we can hook the hydraulic lines up. We're going to pop these hydraulic lines on. You got to have the tractor off because they have pressure. And those string springs are pretty strong. I'm sure all that will get easier as time goes on. All right. All right, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna back this up and their cradle has two hooks uh, on, under the bottom of the tractor and they're gonna go over these pins right here. So we're gonna back the hook up to it's right in front of these pins and then we're gonna take and lift the, use the outriggers and the boom to lift the cradle or the backhoe frame up to the cradle of the tractor. All right, so you're gonna back this up until this piece of metal here is in front of the pin and the hook's in behind the pin. And then you'll take the cradle uh, and pick this up or pick the, the frame up to the cradle and then you'll back the tractor into it, both front and rear. Now we're going to put this bottom pin in. Uh, it's a little difficult to get to put it back in because you're going to put this uh, your side link in, your side to side three point hitch link in. But you just pull the hasp up. Yeah, so I can pull this on. There it went. There you go. Pins in. This is one of them deals where after you do it a couple of times, you'll you'll get a little bit more proficient at it. It's really not a, it's really an easy system. So I'm gonna put the washer back on, and then I'm gonna put the hairpin back on. Yeah, I'm gonna move that one. You mean you gotta wake a lot? Yeah. All right, before you put your side uh, three-point hitch link in, make sure this will slide all the way through. Sometimes you will have to move the... move the backhoe up and down a little bit with the outrigger and make sure that slides through real easy. And once we get that through, we'll start our half, I mean our, our pin. 
with our clevis. All right. I said it's just I learn I learn a little bit more each time. So All right. Next thing we're gonna do is put the top link in. And we may have to adjust this back out. We'll, we'll see. So we'll put the top link in there. And then the back pin over here on the back hole. Just run that pin through. Put the hair plane in. Let's see if I can get my head over here so I can see what I'm doing. It's tough when you got a big head. Alright, then you're gonna basically you're just gonna extend the uh, top link out till it reaches. It's not going to be the same length as like on what you would use on a three-point hitch implement. So basically, you're going to just extend this out. And this just adds stability to the backhoe. It just makes it a little bit stronger. And I don't know of any other company that does it this way. Uh, I really do like that part, just adding that top link on. I've seen three-point hitch backhoes that are similar, but not one with a subframe. So what we're going to do here... Put that hairpin back through and now we're going to be using using this for backhoe operations we're going to take this top link and we're going to tighten this down so it's going to help pull the backhoe towards the tractor and keep it from moving around we'll take a crescent wrench here and lock this lock nut down and your backhoe is ready to be used all right now we're going to put the uh travel pins back into the backhoe so we can go up and down the road and it won't leak down. to take this time to thank you for watching our channel uh, we really appreciate that if you have any questions uh, or comments put them in the comment section below and we'll try to answer all of those if you've got an ideal for a video you want us to do on tym or say uh, a tiller or something like that leave it in the comment below too and we'll do that and uh hey uh, also hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button if you really like what we're doing and if you really like what we're doing hit that bell and it'll let you know every time we put a new video out god bless and have a great day